from heartbreak in 2019. Power, line People are applauding. Let us all wait to jubilation in 2023. In less than five years, India has emerged as a superpower in space. And it's all thanks to this historic moment. Safely or softly, Chandrama ke sata pe land ho chuka hai. Ye hum logon ke liye bahut hi garv ki baat hai. Hindi mein ek kahawat hai ki chanda mama dur ke, lekin ab hum ye kah sakte hain ki chanda mama apne ghar ke. More than three hours after Chandrayaan landed on the lunar south pole, the lander opened to release the Pragyan rover on the moon's surface. Now, for the next 14 days, which is equivalent to one lunar day, the rover will carry out a series of experiments on the moon. This will be the first of its kind, as no other country has ventured to the moon's south pole. The rover will send the data to the lander, which in turn will send it to Earth. One of the experiments will be the spectropolarimetry of habitable planet Earth. The idea is to look for changes that a life-supporting atmosphere makes to the starlight passing through it. The moon is expected to be a thousand times calmer than Earth. Another experiment is to detect and study lunar quakes, which are essentially rumblings under the surface of the moon. Instruments will also conduct experiments to study the near-surface plasma activities on the moon. This research is critical for future missions especially if humans are to stay on the lunar surface for longer periods. Real-time distance between the Moon and the Earth will be measured. This will help us gain a deeper understanding of the Moon's orbital behaviour and its influence on Earth. And finally, there is the matter of studying the composition of lunar soil. This can give insight into the evolution of the Moon and the processes that shaped it during the formation of the solar system. So other than those two experiments on the Pragyan, we have three experiments on board uh, Vikram lander also. One is related to finding the seismic activity on the moon surface. The payload is ILSA and there is a payload where we will conduct a thermophysical measurement of the moon surface called uh, CHASTE. And the third experiment is uh, uh, REMBA which is going to measure the electrical uh, new uh, activity on the surface especially to study the uh, charged particle atmosphere of the moon. So, three such experiments. One of the big tasks of the rover will be to find water in the lunar south pole. Yes, the lunar south pole is believed to host a vast reservoir of water ice in permanently shadowed regions. The frozen water, untainted by the sun's radiation, might have accumulated in cold polar regions over millions of years. And this has led to the accumulation of ice on or near the surface. In fact, back in 2008, data from Chandrayaan-1 indicated the presence of water molecules in the permanently shadowed regions. If water does indeed exist in sufficient quantities, it could be a source of drinking water for moon exploration and could help cool equipment. It could also be broken down to produce hydrogen for fuel and oxygen to breathe. Water ice is a critical resource for the future lunar exploration and even beyond. It can be converted into breathable air, drinking water, and most importantly, hydrogen and oxygen for rocket fuel. This could revolutionize space travel by reducing the need to transport these resources from Earth, thereby making long duration missions far more feasible. But what will happen to Chandrayaan 3 after 14 days? The Vikram lander and Pragyan rover are only designed to last that long they are expected to become inactive after 14 days. This is because there will be night on the moon. There will be extreme cold weather and since Vikram and Pragyan can only work in the sun, they will become inactive. But ISRO has not ruled out the possibility of Vikram and Pragyan coming back to life when the sun rises on the moon once again. What's clear is that the lander and rover will not return to Earth, they will remain on the moon. With the successful landing of Chandrayaan-3, ISRO will now get involved in more lunar explorations. For now, ISRO is preparing for one more lunar mission, which will be in collaboration with Japanese space agency, JAXA. 
This mission is called LUPEX or Lunar Polar Exploration and is slated for 2024-2025. ISRO has also collaborated with NASA to send a joint human spaceflight mission to the International Space Station by next year. The hard work of the entire ISRO community has come to fruition. But the moon is just a stepping stone for India. The next priority for ISRO is the Aditya L1, which is its first mission to the sun. Aditya L1 is slated for an early September launch. ISRO is working on sending an orbiter to Venus within the next two years, while the human spaceflight mission Gaganyaan is also being ready. After conquering the moon, the realm of space possibilities for India is now wide open. Lander module puri tarah se safely or softly chandrama ke satah pe land ho chuka hai.